Hey friends, it's Suzanne Mosley with Us Born Books and More. You can find me on Facebook and YouTube at Suzanne Shares Books, newly named. You can find me on Instagram at Suzanne underscore shares. You can find me on my UBAM shopping website, SuzanneSharesBooks.com. So today I wanted to make another video for Classical Conversations families, or maybe you're watching this, you don't do CC, maybe you homeschool or you're just curious about some of our science dictionaries and what's the difference in those. Um, so I really wanted to highlight these because they are great reference uh, books to have at home. Um, and this is one of my favorite, but it's actually for oldest. So I'm going to rewind a little bit and start uh, with youngest. Um, so we have science dictionaries. We also have a science encyclopedia. And a lot of times I'll hear from parents who were shopping like, hey, what's what's the difference in all these? And I will say that um, this is a good basic science encyclopedia-ish um, for youngest. Um, there is an illustrated dictionary that I would, it's green cover, um, that this is for five and up. The illustrated elementary dictionary of science is, I think it's eight or nine and up. And then this one, the illustrated um, dictionary of science. It's for 12 and up. So I'm going to show you these and then I'll, we'll peek at the encyclopedia as well. So this is a very basic primer. It goes over lots of the um, different areas of um, science, botany, zoology, um, anatomy, light, forces, so physics, chemistry, um, seasons, weather, so it is full color. Um, it really can be used as a read aloud. So if you're looking for something for younger kids, just a, a, literally to get started with science, this is a great reference, okay? Then next, the Illustrated Elementary Dictionary. I don't have that, um, but it is very, um, it, it would be a next step up from getting started with science. And then the difference uh, with this one compared to other um, science reference sets that we have. This one is specifically for biology, chemistry, and physics. Okay, so it's just those three branches of science and it is geared for ages 12 and up. Um, there's the table of contents, it's full color. There are a lot of pictures. I've had um, us born customers tell me their kiddos took this with them to college. It is definitely, we have used it in middle school and high school just to reference different things. Um, so it is a dictionary in the, in the sense, but but almost like an encyclopedia as well. But um, there are um, um, helpful, you know, the index in the back, and then a dictionary in the sense that there is a glossary of terms. So this this one is definitely um, for for your oldest learners. Now, um, some other references that are helpful, and especially if you tutor um, tutor with foundations with classical conversations, I use this with every cycle. We used it in Challenge A, we used it in Challenge B, because it's just a wonderful resource to have. I used it when I was tutoring because there were aspects of science when we did science encyclopedia uh, experiments. I'm like, I don't. I don't know that I remember anything about crystals. Um, so I did my own research through the Science Encyclopedia. This one is a little bit different than our dictionaries um, that we have in that it is, it's more, um, it's more of like a textbook. Like the science dictionaries are more just chunks of information and general overview where these go more in depth um, as well as it has the QR and internet links. Um, and I often, especially when I tutor foundations, I would take this with me to class um, to show pictures. Um, I found some really cool videos on like a time lapse video of crystals. It was wonderful. Um, so it's especially for cycle one or honestly for all three cycles, even into the some of the lower levels of challenge, we use this. And I also wanted to show this box set. This is another great reference. We also have an animals one. Um, but I had all the animals books before it came in a box set, so I don't have the nice pretty box. I will put a plug for the nice pretty box because it keeps keeps them together and I don't lose them. Um, but this one is great for cycle one based on um, what we do, especially next semester, um, weather. Um, some of these will even be good for cycle two with um, space. Um, and there's a body one, but volcanoes, this is the only way to get the volcanoes book now. It's out of print and storms and hurricanes. Those are out of print individually. Um, so you get these 10 books for 40, let me check, $44.99. So it's, um, these are normally $5 each, um, but you get them 
Um, it's like buy nine, get, get one free. Um, so this is another, these are nonfiction, um, kind of in first grade reading level. They're wonderful. Some kids just read these for fun if they're nonfiction readers, but these are awesome for uh, just a good reference on different um, aspects of science. So those are some basic nonfiction science resources that can be helpful for you with cycle one, um, but also expand to some of the other cycles as well. So I hope that's helpful. All these are available on my website, SuzanneShearsBooks.com. Thanks, friends.